What's going on guys, Fade and Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fade comb over, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place. Now that we're done laying down this hair, we switched over to our T outliner and then we made our first guideline. You always want to make sure you contour this guideline to their head shape so the fade can flow better. Also, make sure you use your opposite hands to stretch the skin when needed. Now we can move on to our foil shavers and remove the stubble. Make sure to flick out about a centimeter away the first guideline. Now that we're done balding them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make sure you make this guideline around an inch so you have enough room to spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in that guideline, we can close the lever and begin to fade. Every centimeter, you want to make sure you open up the lever. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember to use the lever to soften up this line and get it ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, we're creating our fourth guideline and we're making sure we feed the hair into the clipper with the comb. Remember to use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. When using the one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will help you erase that faint line. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our clipper of a co method and we get to debulk and create our silhouette. Remember to keep the hair slightly damp so you can feed the hair into the clipper a lot easier. Also when the cutting blade is horizontal I'm debulking and when the cutting blade is vertical I'm blending. Moving on to the C cup area, we're grabbing our endless T outliners and we're starting off at the bottom and working our way to the top arch. You also want to make sure you go very slow here so the hair can feed into the trimmer. Thank you. 
Sometimes there's still a faint line after using the half guard so switching over to your no guard all the way open and using the raking technique will help. If you're unfamiliar with the raking technique, that's when you tilt your clipper at a 75 to 90 degree angle and you use the length of the teeth of the clipper to blend. Moving on to the back, we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're creating our second guideline. Before we started to blend up, we debulked the calic area Now we're moving on to the three guard all the way open and we're continuing to debulk. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, you're going to use the same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, we're creating our fourth guideline and we're going to get this guideline ready for the one and a half guard. Now we're switching over to the one and a half guard and we're going to erase the line completely. We are near their occipital bone so you want to make sure you spend more time here due to the high density of hair follicles. Here I'm switching over to my clipper of a comb method and we're continuing to debulk and blend into the silhouette. Moving on to the top, we're going to start off by making our first guideline through the middle, bringing it all the way back and connecting it to the sides. Always make sure the hair is nice and damp so you can get the true length of this hair follicle.
This area near the parietal ridge is very important because if you don't cut this area correctly, it will poke out and the client will see. Moving on to his front line, we're going to go ahead and separate the top from the bottom and deep bulk with the one guard all the way open. Now that we're done debulking his hairline, we can move on to our anti outliners and start off in the middle and work our way to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Moving on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades, we're going to make them as crispy as possible and we're also going to do his eyebrows. When using the razor, you always want to make sure you lather the skin with some shave gel and you pull the skin as much as you can and also keep the blade at a 45 degree angle. What's going on guys, Fed and Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fade on one of my clients, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place. You always want to make sure you separate the top from the sides, so you don't cut any unnecessary hairs. Now that we're done creating our silhouette, we can move on to our go to FX and create our first guideline. You always want to make sure you contour this guideline to their head shape so the fade can flow better.
Now that we're done bolting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You always want to make sure you make your second guideline about an inch thickness just so you can spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in our guideline, we can close the lever all the way closed and midway to help you erase our initial guideline. Now that we're done blending our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. You also want to make sure you feed the hair into the clipper with your comb. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Now we're moving on to our tool guard all the way open and we're creating our fourth guideline. Make sure to use the comb to feed the hair into the clipper and that you're flicking out with the clipper. We're going to use this same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that our line is soft enough, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Moving on to the three guard all the way open, we're going to continue to debulk and blend into our silhouette. Now I'm using my previous guards to detail as much as I can. Now I'm using my clipper over comb method to blend into the rest of the rate that's left over. Always make sure to tilt your comb at a 45 degree angle or whichever angle is necessary due to the density of the hair follicles. Also I want you guys to remember when the cutting blade is horizontal I'm debulking and when the cutting blade is going vertical I'm blending.
Moving on to the back, we're going to start off with our goat FX and continue to bald him out. Now that we're done balding them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Remember, we are near the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here. Moving on to the one guard all the way open, we're creating our third guideline and we're using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper if needed. Now that we're done creating our fourth guideline with the two guard and softening up the line, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. This is near the occipital bone, so make sure you're very careful. Now we're moving on to our clipper oval comb method because we are near the calic area and we want to make sure we leave enough weight to blend in. Now that we're done with the fade, we moved on to our RT outliners and we're sliding up his C cup starting off at the bottom and working our way to the top arch. Before we start to line him up, we're going to prep the hairline by combing all the baby hairs in place and deep bulking. When lining up the mustache, you want to be as gentle as possible because you could bite their lip with the teeth of the trimmer. Now that we're done prepping the line, we can start off in the middle and work our way to the sides.
Make sure you take your time and make sure that the hair is feeding into the teeth of the trimmer. Moving on to our Turkish Razor and Derber Premium Blades, we're going to make them as crispy as possible and we're also going to be doing his eyebrows. Remember to apply shave gel and stretch the skin when using your razor. And always keep your razor at a 45 degree angle. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Now that we're done with our hairline, we can move on to the eyebrows. <laughs> 